Hello and welcome to Hey, I Loved That Movie, the podcast where we rewatch the films we loved when we were younger to see if they still hold up. I'm Dan. I'm Michael. And I'm Helena. And for this episode, we watched Mean Girls. Not yeah. the new one, the one from 20 years ago. No, yeah, the good no, one. no, 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 no. <laughs> No. <laughs> the good one. I realised that as I had, like, yeah, as I went to watch it, it was like, yeah, when it oh, which brackets... one do I want? Tw- 2004? Brackets or 2004, 2004, like, oh. Oh, what? oh. I guess because it's yeah. kind of a teen movie, I associate it with my, like, early teens. Yeah. Nope, so I'm like, on. no, it's just like 10 years old. This is everyone's teenage life is but mean girls. 17, 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah i mean I'd, I'd seen this a couple of times before the last time was probably maybe three or four years ago i watched it on an october 3rd because it's mean, yeah, girls, day, it's mean girls day and i was trying to work out um for for doing this on the podcast originally i was like oh, i wonder when october 3rd will be a monday we missed it it was like two years ago the next one's in 2033 and i'm not waiting that long <laughs> Well, you know, we, we can still, still do going. it. We'll we'll have forgotten, you know. Yeah, we can everything. do we can do uh, Mean Girls again in nine years. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Yeah, see the problem with that? We're going to re-release this it. episode. <laughs> yeah, no, we just hold this back. For, you schedule this for twenty twenty three. What's yeah? So what's your uh, yeah? Sort of I've history? watched it. I've watched it a lot. Um, hmm. I can't. I don't honestly remember like the first time I watched it. Weirdly, I remember the first time I watched Mean Girls two. Very like precisely because it was so is... shit and disappointing. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it because it was yeah. <laughs> that was the lowest moment of your life? <laughs> oh. I don't know. I've not seen it. I'm that's that's. <laughs> We're about to say, oh, I don't know. I don't know your life. <laughs> um, yeah, it's not good. It's it, it's really not good. Um, but the yeah, Mean Girls. It's just kind of been like a staple. Like I've I've just I've seen it. A lot, and it's one of those ones that when it's been on TV, I've watched it every time. It's not on TV like super often. Yeah, it's it's full film four vibes E four. Yeah, I, I I don't know if we we definitely didn't have it on DVD, but maybe a friend did or something because or like it, we rented it or something from Blockbuster because I've I'm I'm sure I've seen it loads, and also it's just ubiquitous. Like everyone quotes it. All the yeah. time. Well, everyone did. Maybe not now. Twenty yeah. years later. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as I was watching it, I was like, I forgot just how many great one-liners there are through the whole film. Ah, uh, one of my favorites. <laughs> Danny DeVito, I love your work. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this film, yeah. Oh, I remember watch. I remember the first time I watched this film. I don't remember when it was, but the only reason I remember watching it was because people were telling me it's a good film, and I was always like. Nah, it doesn't look that good. And then I watch it. Yeah, it's actually really fucking good. That sounds like me with when Helena made me watch Pitch Perfect. And I was like, <laughs> yeah, no, you're right. <laughs> yeah, that's the same thing. I was like, it doesn't look. Good. It doesn't look like a film I would like. We should do Pitch Perfect at some point. We should definitely do Pitch Perfect. I, I watched it the other day. So. Just the one. <laughs> but yeah, I, this is, a, and it was like when I was in my teens. So because eh. I did that thing that like every teenager does. Oh, where you go, I'm not watching this film, it's not cool. Oh, <laughs> I only watch girls. these handful or of films. Pitch Perfect. Uh, other f- Pitch Perfect I watch a lot, a lot later. Mainly because yeah, I didn't okay. know it existed. Uh, <laughs> until Dan showed it to me. <laughs> yeah. Well, I, okay. I only went to see it because my friend had free cinema tickets. Ah. And I, she was like, I want to go and see Pitch Perfect. And I was like, okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, like it's, for free. It's free <laughs> cinema, you know, can't complain. <laughs> And um, yeah, <laughs> I was like, oh shit, I really like this film. Yeah, but back to Mean, mean Girls. The Mean Girls. Yeah, I didn't Pitch see Mean Perfect. Girls in the cinema. I was 11. Yeah. <laughs> Pitch Perfect and Mean Girls have the same, they're the same very specific type of film, mm. right? Like they're, the, they're aimed, they have the same audience. Yeah. If you like Mean Girls, you'll like Pitch Perfect. Yeah. In like a weird way, they're the same, they, they're like same core audience. Which is us, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Mean Girls is so strange. Mean Girls is such a cult film. Yeah, it's, well, it's iconic at this point, I feel. like yeah. I don't know if it's a cult film. I feel like everyone 
liked it. I just, I don't know if we got, we were not old enough to get the hype when it actually first came out. But it's not, it's not like, it's not really talked about as like this. When you talk about films, you don't talk about Mean Girls. But Mean Girls, everyone will say that Mean Girls well, is a very until good now. film. Yeah, and then every yeah. so often <laughs> well, it just yeah. comes up when it's either October 3rd or someone says about wearing pink on a Wednesday, you know. Yeah. But it's such a good, like, well-made film about something that a lot doesn't get made into films often. Yeah. $18 million budget, $130 million box office. Yeah. It's a success. Yeah. But it's not it's not like ranked up as like, oh yeah, this is one of the best films ever made. Even though that it's uh, I the... don't know. It's got a cultural impact section on Wikipedia. It absolutely does. It <laughs> deserves it. <laughs> I just feel it's a weird film. It's just it's a weird it sits in a very unique space in like culture. Yeah. I don't know how to explain I don't know how to explain it. There's something very like the impact this film had and maybe it's a what it's about is why it sits so on its own because it it feels like every a lot of films try to be i don't know a lot of films try to kind of do what mean girls talk does yeah they it, a, a lot of the other ones don't tend to nail like this is funny throughout and then the ending is like oh this is genuinely like kind of heartwarming and nice and you know yeah it, but it, still it, still quite goofy yeah, yeah. Yeah. But it's like it's got a good sort of happy positive message at the end. Yeah, it's, like, like, it's got a good end. It's got a nice happy yeah, ending. Yeah. Yeah. But there's like little things throughout the film that happen that kind of prove the point of the film. Yeah. 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 And you're like and they're not big moments, they're like little bits that you're like, Oh yeah, that still sucks. <laughs> <laughs> and they don't mention it, it's just sort of the way the world works. So the um Obviously, like the one of the overarching themes is like cliques. Yeah, well, it's mm. high school. It's American high yeah. school. That as British kid people, I don't know it's about just you. The two, coolest shit ever. I don't know <laughs> if this is how America actually works. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> or if this is just how films says it works. Because I genuinely t- believed, and I still kind of do, that this is just a film thing, and this isn't what schools are actually like. But I've seen uh, evidence to the contrary. <laughs> yeah, so uh, having not experienced it, the only the only thing I know about <laughs> that sort of rings true is I had a friend who, well, not even weren't particularly close, but I had a a, a friend, a colleague, who, <laughs> a colleague, a work An acquaintance. No, it was it was weird. Like I think we we met once, and then she left school. She left junior school the year I jo- joined that junior school. <laughs> Ah, like ships passing in the night. Yes. So, of course, we were friends on Facebook years later. Yeah. Um, And she got a car for her 16th birthday, which is just wild to me. But in America, yeah, that is actually pretty. Yeah, that's not a normal thing. And yeah, I, I've also normal. watched a lot of, I used to watch a lot of Sweet 16. <laughs> Did you guys ever watch that show? I, wa- I have seen episodes no. of it. <laughs> I have seen episodes of it. <laughs> Two very different answers there, but they completely <laughs> the, make sense. <laughs> yeah, the answers I expected. Yeah. Yeah. Dan, do you know what Sweet 16 is? It was um, an MTV is show. It their big 16th birthday party. Yeah, it's a reality <laughs> TV show. It's a bit yeah. like Teen Mums, but instead of babies, they're having a birthday party. <laughs> almost, most, you know, almost the same thing. <laughs> insane way of it happening as well. Yeah. But... Yeah, it would. It was. It was really like the yeah, just all out huge party, and there'd be like drama about it going, you know, like the planning not going perfectly or whatever, yeah. and it was but very it's, staged. It's like, but rich. it's crazy because like in America you can still do like you can drive, but apart from that you can do fuck all at sixteen because yeah. you still can't yeah. drink till you're twenty one. Well, you, you can join the army though and maybe shoot some people. These but, are, you know. by the way, those are very, two very good differences. Is you can drive, you're not allowed to drink. That's a very, yeah, that's a good point. Actually, that's okay. yeah, <laughs> um, it's it's quite a good. I, I don't want it to yeah. be the other way around. Yeah, that's a very good point. Um, <laughs> but on that show, like the biggest drama is always, and it happens once every like two to three episodes. Is the because it's rich kids. It's not like normal kids because normal oh, of kids, course, it yeah. would be a very boring show. <laughs> Oh, what did I do for my 16th birthday? I think I went to ASK Pizza. Yeah. With four it's, friends. It's c- cool. Um, but every, like, two to three episodes, there was, like, a... <laughs> like, we know. We, all, we know what kind of friends we are. I know, um, because I wasn't there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think... assume it's called Ask Pizza. 
Yeah. <laughs> is it ask or is it ask? There's I... um, ask Italian. I think it is all ask. Ask Italian. Ask, ask, ask Italian. Well, yes, because I went to the one in Canterbury. So yes. ask, ask Italian ask. on the yes. river. Uh, but yeah, as there's always like a kid that doesn't like that their dad got them the wrong car. Oh yeah, they're all the right yeah, car in the wrong color. Yeah, that's the best. Because hmm. you're nice like, wow, work. what a cunt. <laughs> it's nice to watch spoiled, entitled children get angry about nothing. Yeah. And then watch their parents go, oh, I'm so sorry. I remember really eyeing up my grand's um, Ford KA. Yeah. When I was is, it, like is it a KA or is it a car? Car. <laughs> <laughs> a car. <laughs> But... I don't think all of the uh, presents I've ever got in my entire life would add up to the value of a car, to be fair. No. <laughs> so... <laughs> you can get some pretty cheap cars, you just won't have it for very long. Oh, oh yeah, no, won't. but they're not going to have a fucking Sweet 16 episode and give them like a Volkswagen <laughs> Polo, are they? Hey, I've got a Polo! That's my car I have now! <laughs> like a second-hand Ford Fiesta. <laughs> Yeah, uh, very girls. much in in between as yellow, whatever he yeah. had. Yeah, <laughs> that that felt more accurate as like your first. Well, I think my my school the what the the seventeen year olds um that got cars were either rich enough that their parents bought them a Fiat five hundred. Yep. Or poor enough that they'd already had a job since they were like thirteen, mm-hmm. and bought the car with their own money. Yeah. Uh, you also, you don't want to be the kid that knows how to drive at school, because you will get asked for lifts everywhere. Yeah, to be fair, I did have my friend drive me to school quite a lot. See? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> While he was well, learning, though, like, with his with his stepdad yeah. in the front, and I'd be in the back, like... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, Mean Girls. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I don't know how much of this film is real, is what I was saying. Yeah. I don't know how much of it is, like, <laughs> not a documentary, but how much is, like, <laughs> a thing. It's um, definitely a caricature. Yeah, I just don't know how far away from the truth it is. I think the, the perception of like the popular girls being awful can be very true. But yeah. the whole point yeah. is that it I guess the like obviously the, the plastics are only one clique in it. And yeah. the other yeah. clique the the sort of the main issue is actually there's so much infighting yeah. in all well, these groups of friends that actually they all have far more in common than they have differences. Yeah. Well, in this, like, that's kind of a point throughout the film, is no one else seems to give as much of a shit about the cliques as the main characters do. Yeah. Like, no well, one else as, seems to as, be that. As, um, Janice. Yeah, yeah everyone Janice else is sort of... Well, the plastics... They just and... hang out with their friends, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of time you're friends with people that have the same interests as you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But it's like they're the only people that seem to actually like people love Regina George, but they don't seem they're not like no one else seems that bothered about the grouping. Because <laughs> cliques aren't again, this is like aren't really a thing in schools over here. Mm, no, I, not, really. not as not as well defined. No, well, they, yeah, like they, they definitely tr- in my school had like I was definitely firmly in the band nerd. Not yeah, but it's not... like music, music geek level. But it's not but... like no one else will talk to you. No, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah, and because um, that's weird. We also like... we did have assigned seats in the common room. Yeah, but that's in like, sick form. That's just normal. But that's just because children are creatures of habit. Yeah, and like of course I'm gonna sit. Like I, I, this is our spot, and I know that my other friends are gonna sit here. Why would I sit somewhere else? Yeah, you know that's well, that's my seat. Like I pretty yeah. much had a like a designated seat on the train yeah. <laughs> because it was like, well, I'll, I'll sit here, and we all know which carriage to get on. So, yeah, yeah. this is just where you sit. But there isn't like if you were at school in England and someone was like, "Don't talk to them," but they do, they do banned stuff. You'd be like, "What?" Yeah. Oh, you, you don't you don't want to be you don't want to be friends with them. No, it'd be like be friends care. with whoever you want to be friends with. Yeah, I do remember they'd just feeling... call you a fucking loser and. That's because I was in the um, fucking losers group, though. So, <laughs> uh, I uh, yeah, I I don't know. I remember trying really hard. To, it sounds this is going to sound really tragic, but I had uh, one best friend in secondary school, and then she moved, and uh, then I had to sort of try and remake friends from year eight onwards after everyone yeah. had kind of settled into their friendship group. Yeah, 
And of course, you know, I <laughs> dabbled in a few before I sort of found where I was, I guess, best suited. Yeah. Um, which did include a few really weird, like not friend, like like friend dates, I guess, or like tr- tr- trying to hang out with people outside of school to see if I actually, you know, liked them, and it wasn't like just them. proximity. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> It's like, I tolerate this person at school. Does that mean we, I actually want to be their friend? You tend and to be friends with people who Sometimes it's like, well, them. actually, I don't like going and watching boys badly skateboard in Deal. What do you, that That's not like my idea fun. of a good weekend. That sounds like great fun. <laughs> yeah, imagine watching people fall off skateboards all day. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that sounds fucking amazing. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that sounds funny now. Yeah. <laughs> don't go and watch teenagers <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no. Just a bit of advice don't go watch teenage boys skateboard <laughs> anyway, i feel like i feel like no one had a good time in school making friends like people can have a good time in school no one had like a perfect friendship time no there was always issues and then... finding friends is a headache yeah. a lot of time it is just like yeah you'll you're with these people because you have a bunch of lessons with them and so you just kind of become friends because they're always there yeah, and we enjoy and it's only sort of things. after school that you make kind of like, like I'm How... still friends with a couple of people from school. <laughs> I, was say, but not... I think you're friends with the most amount of people from your school. Out yeah, of the three of us. Yeah. I don't know. I have I no, really none, know. none yeah. that I, none that <laughs> I actually, no, yeah. none that I talked to you now. I probably... Yeah, I'm still friends with a couple of people that I went to school with. But yeah, it, it's like there were some people where like you, you kind of, I, I've you know gone back to visit Coventry and that and hung out with some people, and I'm like, this just. It's just nothing there, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like your friends for the sake of it. Oh, your yeah, friends, definitely. With, like when you're younger, your friends because they live close enough. Yeah, it's yeah. proximity. Well, though. yeah, that's why I was. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I d- I went to school in a different town to where yeah. I like um, where I lived, so I really struggled with like hanging out after school and stuff because I was beholden to trains and having to get back. Yeah. It's, and um, it's shitty. You know, then shockingly, once I made friends with Dan, who lived down the road, <laughs> and it was like, oh, this is actually, you know, I can actually afford and... to spend time with him because I don't have an hour and a half journey home. By the way, pro- proof that you're not proximity friends. <laughs> well, yeah, and, yeah. But I also, yeah. I think I knew that I enjoyed hanging out with you rather yeah. because it was, you know, rather than like we had to, we didn't have to sit together, you know, in class, hundred. Yeah. A hundred times in maths before I was yeah, like, exactly. actually, this, this person's all right. <laughs> this person's good enough to talk to. But yeah, clicks back to me. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. is going to be a, a tangent heavy episode because it's about. Well, I feel like everyone's seen Mean Girls. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. But it's not. None of it is something that would happen in, in British school. No, absolutely none of it. Because. Uh... No, not even like right at the start. The teacher Tina, Tina Fate, who is obviously brilliant. The it's yeah, they're just amazing. And she's it's her. writer. She wrote it. Yeah. She's incredible. Yeah, she did. Um, I remember having like a wait, what? It was Tina Fey that directed and yeah. wrote and everything. Mean Girls. Um, that bit, even when she like spills coffee and like lift, like flashes her bra. Like, yeah. honestly, if that anything close to that had happened at my school, I made like. Oh, we'd have lost our minds. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, but nothing like, like that ever ever did. No, it was just um, kind of like shrugged and moved on. Yeah, the teachers act behaving the way they do. Well, <laughs> we did have a teacher once welcome a new student from Nigeria, and they picked the they they um. Wait, that actually they, happened. Yeah, they they did pick the wrong black person. <laughs> <laughs> and he had been at school since year seven <laughs> and, he, and he's the... like i'm from sandwich <laughs> of all the things in this film that i want to have happened to one of us that is absolutely it <laughs> oh i bet that was awkward for the rest of the time he was at school i i don't know i, I mean i what, what i can say is i definitely was a very self-centered teenager in the fact that i remember that happening but i don't remember like any one Every else's emotional experience of it <laughs> every all. teenager is selfish yes as yes. we have seen that's why i've managed to forgive myself i think just about but i was a bit of a cunt i think i think everyone should unless you're like specifically dickish. yeah if you're, if you're if you're psychopathic yeah 
Um, I did kinda... some. Thi- I did some things where I'm like, oof, that was bad. But yeah, like nothing that I'm like, I should have, you know, <laughs> gone yeah. to. Pr- I, like, I didn't. I didn't really ever set out with intentions to hurt people. Yeah, you're like that made me a bad person. <laughs> Those yeah. actions made me a terrible person. And it's like, why doesn't anyone want to be friends with me? And now I'm like, yeah, I, I wouldn't have wanted to. Yeah, nah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Fair enough, it. really. <laughs> a bit of a handful. Yeah. <laughs> You're like, I'm an arsehole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah. And, and, and then the best thing is if you try and talk to those people now and you're like, oh, sorry, I was a bit of a cunt. And they're like, what? I don't who remember. Are you... Um, Oh, I've just realised that it, um, as well as this film being 20 years old this year, um, September will be 20 years since I started secondary school. Yeah, uh, we're I'm old. I'm just going to go. We're old. I'm going to go and have a bath. Yeah, you <laughs> need old. it. Have you got yeah. a bat? bad back, bad <laughs> knees? <laughs> so, the, yeah. So this film generates, because like Linda, so uh, one of our favourites, Linda Lohan. Yes. Mm-hmm. Of, um, Friday, Friday, uh, Freaky Friday of fame. And Herbie. And Herbie fame. Um, <laughs> <laughs> she and Herbie she goes leaves bananas. Film, and everyone else in it becomes a lot more famous than her. Mm. How the fuck is this the same year as The Notebook and both have Rachel McAdams in it? <laughs> yeah. Except in this, she's fucking Regina George. Yeah. Like, that, really- like Am- I always forget Amanda Seyfried is in it, and then I'm like... Hang on, shit. That's <laughs> yeah. That's every, fucking happens. everyone in it. You're like, oh, mm. oh shit. This was this was it. <laughs> this Even Amy Poehler was. wasn't that big at the time in, <laughs> when she was in this. Well, it this makes was... sense that Amy Poehler's in it though, because her and yeah, Tina Fey are a duo. They were yeah, on, yeah. They were on SNL during this. Yeah, I think, I think so. Yeah, but they weren't like. And they'd all, no. they'd already written quite. They'd already written films together at this point, mm. and they Baby yeah. Mama, one of them. I think. so. I think that's a bit older, isn't it? Well, yeah, that's one I said already. <laughs> no, I mean newer, even. Sorry. Oh. I mean old. Uh, <laughs> my words aren't. They, right. they, were, <laughs> they were, I think. But yeah, no, no, I mean, probably wasn't. Because SNL 2008. Really okay, yeah, I, I stand. I don't want to say stand corrected because you didn't correct me correctly. <laughs> you were both but... wrong in two different directions. Isn't yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so everyone in this becomes really famous. Hmm. It's it's so weird to watch. Oh, it's so crazy looking at Rachel McAdams in like anything else after watching Mean Girls most recently. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but yeah, she plays Katie. Not Major Rachel no. McAdams plays um, yeah. Regina George. Regina George, uh, who has to be said her full name every time. Regina George. It it as, bounces off the tongue. Yeah, as if it's a title, which it is in this film. It is a title. It isn't a name. Yeah, Lindsay Lohan plays Katie, a girl who was homeschooled because her family were scientists. They, they, like, the zoologists. In Africa. Zoologists, yeah. yeah. And I love yeah. it at the beginning, it's like, I was homeschooled, but not like in a weird way. Yeah, oh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like the, the weird spelling bee and then the, the kids that are like, and on the third day. The, yeah. <laughs> not in like a weird religious way. <laughs> Good Did you guys those. know any homeschool kids? No, because I went to normal school. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah. no. <laughs> I yeah, do. Do I know any homeschool kids now? Do I yeah, know I anyone who's like, oh no, I, was like, I don't think I do. It's not as common in the UK. No. Yeah, I think I only know one, and it was like they actually had really bad mental health, and it was easier for them to have be homeschooled for a bit. Yeah. It wasn't like a, and we're doing this to shelter that, like, you know, as like, school it's, is wrong and we want to teach our kids better. It was just like. like it's Christ, lot... we need them to get some GCSEs. <laughs> it's a lot harder to do, to like, get your kid into homeschooling than it is in the US. I, like, I don't know. I mean, these days, Christ, all you need is a computer. I mean, there's no, obviously but, a lot of people who can't afford it, but like, I imagine like yeah. legally that oh, you, it's um, probably no, quite... I don't think so. You just have to meet certain marks. That's what I mean. That's probably you don't really. I'm, I'm just as someone who's sort of gone down this path a little bit, not the homeschool path, but the like looking into it, uh, like standards of ed- education. You don't want to know how how lax and bad it is in yeah. the UK. Actually, <laughs> yeah, it's not good. <laughs> you can get away with really not teaching your kid if you don't want to. Oh god. <laughs> um, but you shouldn't. <laughs> no, uh, but yeah, it's it's. I feel like it's just less common. Yeah. Um, 
I, well, there's just fewer of us on there. There's a lot of people in America That's and it's true. kind of more spread out. And obviously, like, it makes sense to like homeschool your kids if you live, you know, three hours away from the next yeah. school or the only yeah, school. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, she goes to a normal school. Yeah, to get socialised. To get social. <laughs> Love that. <laughs> and most of the first part of this film is just her awkwardly trying to fit in. Yes. I mean, that's the whole film, but the beginning specifically. Yeah, the way she just sort of goes along with things. I love the, the it's a, right at the start again, where she's like introduces herself to the to what she thinks is the teacher is just tall, big girl. A tall she. <laughs> yeah. Who like, plays Fuck lacrosse. Off. Yeah. <laughs> and she's just so hostile to her. Yeah. Yeah, Tina Fey's teacher's like, <laughs> and then fucking talks to the wrong kid. Yep. Oh, <laughs> man. I'm from Michigan. <laughs> <laughs> The other one thing I did find quite weird, well, not weird, but they were well, cringy. It's not, it's not really the same level at all. But when she, uh, she's in the cafeteria on the first day and she's trying to see where she wants to sit, and she says, "Was it Jahamba? Uh Like hello yeah. in Swahili?" Oh, it's and I'm like, thing. "A bunch of black kids." Yeah, it's the and same. It's... <laughs> the same <laughs> thing like... that happened. <laughs> I know you've only been here a day, but did you not learn from this morning? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, the black people here aren't going to be directly from Africa. Yeah. Oh, man. Awkward. And luckily, it's that awkward. isn't a running yeah. joke. Well, yeah, no. That was thankfully. Thank God. But yeah, then she finds Janice and I forgot the guy's name. Uh, Damien? Damien. Damien, who is too gay to function. Janice, who is uh, goth esque. Ac- yeah, Count- eyeliner. Hot hot topic goth? Well, not even hot topic yeah. goth. Like of... scene kid kind of thing, I guess. But scene well, scene's probably a little bit after this. She's like anti... She's sort of tomboy, anti, anti-Barbie. anti Yeah. Goth. She's like... So her whole thing, Janice's whole thing throughout the film, is she's anti-click. She's anti-school social groups. Yeah. Mm. But she's probably the most... Uh, uh, up with, like, Regina George, she, she's the most invested. Yeah. Well, we don't hear... She's probably the most invested because, like, we don't hear anyone else refer to collective groups. No, but it seems like Caddy gets is- Caddy, Katie, Katie, Katie gets um, isolated very quickly. She yeah. makes one, she makes two friends, and then they tell her to go and make friends with the well, to to, to do the whole plastic sabotage thing. Yeah, because yeah. she accidentally makes friends with the plastics because of that guy hitting on her. Yeah, he says, "Do you want your not but muffin buttered." Which... Well, they they the plastics they they like her because she's pretty and sort of sort of a bit like you know you're good enough to sit with us kind of thing. It's a bit yeah. weird, but it's like she doesn't see. There's no other scenes where she's like hanging out with another group of friends. So no, she immediately don't really... becomes like. And then it's the the big reveal at the end is that like oh each clique has its like issues. Yeah, but it doesn't necessarily mean that everyone else is as insular. No, I mean that's like. That's what I mean. No one else seems yeah. to care about which group they're in outside of Janice mostly yeah. and the plastics. But also, yeah. as someone with approximately two and a half friends... Is the half friend? <laughs> <laughs> if you have to ask. Um... Oh. oh, thank God, I'm nearly free. <laughs> um, the... Uh... Like the idea of having like loads and loads of friends at school is like pretty unrealistic. Oh, it's too much. And I think it's yeah. awful anyway. Yeah. Like there's the few people you're friends with, and then everyone else you just kind of tolerate. acknowledge and tolerate at a certain point anyway. Yeah. Like you're you're kind of, and then there's like one or two. There was one kid that fucking hated me in school, <laughs> <laughs> and I could never quite understand why. And it, I never really cared, and I think that annoyed him even more. Is he gay now? <laughs> Probably that's not. That's the stereotype. No, I think he was just an arsehole. Mm, yeah. But, yeah, I just remember he really fucking hated me. And, like, constantly trying to put me down, and everyone else was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, leave him alone, you weirdo. Because <laughs> I was like, I was one of those kids where I was like, mates with everyone. I didn't yeah. get the whole drama stuff. Yeah. That, like, people would have, I was like, I don't particularly care <laughs> and i think he hated me <laughs> and that's very funny thinking back just being so sat there just really frustrated that you exist is great 
Uh, there's probably more people that hated me. I was just blissfully ignorant. <laughs> you did, yeah, yeah, <laughs> just yeah. unaware, yeah. <laughs> just unaware. I, I don't know how I was perceived by most people at school. <laughs> I don't know. I was, a, I was, everyone thought I, I was a massive nerd for the first couple of years. And then I kind of got uh, less clever, I guess. <laughs> people <laughs> caught up, I don't know, like... Yeah. Well, you went I... from all the, having all the any good aspects of being a nerd, but kept all the bad <laughs> ones. I well, because I did year seven twice. I don't know if I've ever. I don't think I've explained this on the pod. I don't know if you guys knew that. I have no idea you did. You were a year older twice. than we thought this whole time. <laughs> yeah. No, you I get, I never. You got I, held I, back <laughs> like in American movies. <laughs> I didn't know they held people back. I I actually never did year five. So I did. What? I went to no, year I'm one sorry. to four, skipped year five, went to year did year six and seven at one school that went up to year eight. But then I didn't go into year eight. I went into year seven at a different school. Right. Okay. So you you weren't held back. You were kicked forward a year and I was kicked forward and out. then yeah, basically went from year seven and I did when I was in year seven, I did the uh, grammar t- uh, grammar school test called the Kent test. But right, that yeah, it's not yeah, but it's. It used to be called the 11 plus before that, but the the one yeah. you take to then go into grammar schools in the UK. Were you? Of which we have like, I think, five left and most of them are in Kent. So yeah, yeah I guess yeah. it makes sense. Were you? Um, so you were the same age as everyone, right? Yes. In my second round of year seven. I was a year up in the first year of year seven. That awful. <laughs> well, yeah, I thought it was going to be bad going into, well, I went into year six. But um, I fit in really well, and I was horrendously bullied in year four at the other school. So it was ah. like, we need to get you out of this school. Uh, it wasn't like, oh, wow, she's so smart. Like, year five is wasted on her. Uh, <laughs> oh, okay. It was like, she desperately needs to move schools. Year five is full. Does she want to do year four again or go into year six and hedge right. your bets? And we were like, That's... yeah, I should probably handle it. And I okay. probably handled it. <laughs> That's fine then. It balanced out not long after. It's fine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, and it, yeah. I, I, I don't know if I'd have passed the Kent test. Um, my first, if I'd done it when I was in when I was nine. Yeah, yeah. probably should. Yeah, um, or yeah. ten, I guess. Because then I took it when I was eleven or ten or eleven. I don't know. That I can't remember what time of year the test actually is. I mean, schools in England are weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I was... schools as well. So it was just like you know free for all. Yeah. I think I was given the option to do the Kent test, and I was like, no. <laughs> no, I do not want to go to a grammar school, thank you. Fair. I um, I think if I didn't go to a grammar school, I was going to go to what was called the Ramsgate School at the time, mm. which was the third worst school in the country. Ah. Ooh, nice. So I w- <laughs> my, my parents were quite determined for me to not go to that school, but yeah. also were like... <laughs> You know, uh, secondary private secondary schools are like ten grand a term, so yeah. you're not going to a private secondary school. Yeah, yeah. I'm glad yeah. I just went to a pretty average secondary school where I was bullied the first couple of years, and then everyone at one point realised everyone else is people too, and then it was just fine. Yeah, people students should at some point gain a sense of self. Yeah, uh, it, it's a weird. Most time. did anyway. <laughs> did oh, you yeah, guys ever bully it. anyone? I ever but not deliberately no, but like I probably so. i think yeah. i kind of bullied a kid for like yeah. a, a few days once um i used to pinch him <laughs> when i was in year, I was year seven <laughs> no, yeah don't, wait first, i don't know why year second seven, round yes yeah, yeah, okay. 7.2 <laughs> okay because if it was the first time round, like that's awful <laughs> <laughs> yeah did you like him no, well, no. Or is I that actually, just another yes. terrible stereotype. Yeah. <laughs> I did, I did like him as a friend and a person. I think I was worried he was going to bully me. <laughs> I, I was so deter- Yeah, I'm like really like oh, I'm going to pit this one to the oh. post. Damn. I'll pinch him. That'll learn him. And then, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. And then you know we were fine friends, <laughs> co- colleagues, acquaintances. That never yeah. spoke after we went separate ways after school, yeah. you know. I, yeah, I don't. Think <laughs> I think I, I might have him on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> I, I still have so ever... many people from school on Facebook. I don't know why. I don't think yeah, I ever bullied same. anyone. I know I didn't put up with people. Like yeah. if I didn't like them, I just wouldn't. 
I wouldn't be nice to people. Uh, if they, there were a couple of people that were just really fucking annoying to be around, mm. and they were dicks. And it was always like, well, you shouldn't bully them. It's like I don't want to be around them. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're a dick. It's like no one likes them, not because everyone's a bully, <laughs> because they're awful. I had some girls that were pretty. Not they weren't bully. They they just gave me a bit of like they were a bit harassy. They yeah. weren't like. You know, they didn't say anything that was super, like, they could actually get in trouble for or, like, do much to me. But it yeah. would be like, when I, I remember when I came out as, as bi, they, and I had a, a girlfriend, they were, like, they'd ask me really inappropriate questions really loudly. And, yeah, and in, like, games that. and, like, in the in break and stuff. Oh, yeah. and someone pushed me in a hedge once. Huh. I can't remember who did. It was a thorny hedge, though, so, yeah, it was bad. But... As like a bullying method or like a ha ha kind of method because I think we've all um I I can't remember now I remember falling in the bush I can't remember the context not falling but being pushed into the bush yeah. I think it was it was like a sort of fuck you push not a ha ha uh, got you push not a joke push that you go oh actually <laughs> oh that's that hilarious joke of pushing your friend into a thorn bush yeah why did they have them in school I don't know. That's so like, every you had dangerous yeah, plants vicious. around school. Yeah, <laughs> I, I would say like I didn't come out until way later, so I guess that might be why I just didn't get bullied. Mm, yeah, although I imagine I... most people I knew probably were aware. Like the one kid that seems to have no interest in the opposite sex. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, probably, I don't know. Like, I look back for now, and there's definitely a hand. There's a, like, obviously more and more people have come out from my year. Yes. And the surrounding Absolutely. years over time, and I wouldn't have, I wouldn't have guessed. Like I'd say about half of them. Ah, I've got some subtler, subtler ones. Okay. I'd, I'd love to sit down and talk to another queer kid from my school, from like my year. I'd love to. That sounds really interesting to like learn about that perspective. Because I think that yeah, one of the real experience was yeah. explained instances of bullying here is Regina. Is the oh, way yeah. Regina George treats <laughs> We're talking Janice about a film because so, of yeah. her sexuality, <laughs> and it's like it's not even her her Potent- actual sexuality; it's potential sexuality, perceived sexuality. Yeah. It's not even. She's like, I think you're a lesbian. Confirmed. And like, yeah, and it's it's not confirmed. Um, you dress like a lesbian, thus we're going to call you and treat you like. And a lesbian. I remember her like that. I remember that the scene really vividly where. Uh, Regina George is like revealing what she knows about um, Jan- Janice to yeah. uh, revealing this whole like oh well, we used to be best friends in middle school story to to Kat- Katie and it's like oh you know she she used to get mad if I blew her off to go and hang out with my boyfriend and it's like well yeah you blew her off and yeah. at the time I'm thinking like oh my god like she people was can have two different her. perspectives about how someone acts yeah <laughs> it does Regina yeah. George actually outside of the burn book and that bit is she actually like a bully or is she just perceived as powerful it's hard to say but there is the bit at the end where she's like uh the T- tina fey's character is like who here feels who? like they have been personally victimized by regina george and everyone including all four teachers and the headmaster <laughs> and the put their hands up yeah. yeah she's it's weird though because she's not actually like the thing she like so when she calls sort of bullying, that yeah. so when the other scene that really stuck in my mind was the that like the, I, I mean obviously a lot of it I remember now and it's always it comes up on little reels on TikTok and whatever but the scene where that girl um, who's just a just an extra we don't really know much about her um, goes um, and meets with Jason at the mall yeah. and yeah. Regina calls her mum on. Using information, which is just hilarious, is like a, you know, a kids today going to get that because yeah. I'm like I'm not entirely. Yeah, we were too. What that didn't even exist by the time we were teenagers, I think. Yeah, no. Um, although you could do, was it like one four one or something? You could definitely call people and not have it be. Yeah, you could uh, that, get around like caller a... ID, but I can't. Yeah, yeah. There were ways. I think um, you can like even turn it off on your phone to not come up. Like I think that was by yeah, the time you we were teenagers. Your, yeah. And now you now you set can phone set phone it to yeah, private number on your phone. So Yeah. But yeah, so she does essentially that and then pretend she's from Planned Parenthood. And yeah. ru- ruins, you know, ruins this girl's day, potentially ruins her relationship with her parents. Just yeah. and but she Regina George feels like she's justified 
doing it because Jason's date, but like you know, it's the the. He's not even cheating on. No, they're not together. He's just, he just moved didn't... on. Yeah. They broke up. Well, they seem to be on and off like a light switch. Yeah. But she's Wait. not like she's really manipulative. She's yes. an expert at it. Like it takes a root. It takes like three people to manipulate her. She's really good at it. Yeah. That's kind of why she's perceived as important, I guess. I guess she's also really rich. Yeah. Which yeah, rich she's and very pretty. Well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Got, rich and pretty. Let's be real. Goes a long way. Yeah, but she's not like the richest person, though. Um. No, like well, her... Karen. Is, is, is it not Karen? The other one. Uh, I can't remember. Uh, Gretchen. Yeah, Gretchen. Gretchen. Gretchen's is she the richest? richest. Yeah, because yeah. that's like because her as dad pretty. invented toaster strudel. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's the, the, the thing about her. Karen's not. Karen's just the one who's, um, in the movie's words, a dumb slut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But if just... if um yeah if Gretchen Wiener was not really really rich, she would have been bullied to shit with that name. Hmm. Uh, yeah, but also Gretchen's like a social. It. Yeah. Yeah, it's so she's very manipulative, very aware. Of and, um, every, she seems very aware of herself as well. Yeah, or when like Katie's like, "Oh wow, your house is amazing," she's like, "I know, right?" Yeah, she's incredibly um, not self-aware. Well, yeah, she's quite self-aware. I think she she's aware of her some of her privilege, but not in a way that makes her condescending to people in a nice way. Yeah, she's she's not humble sociopathic almost <laughs> well yeah 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 and um i think kate it katie really struggled like the whole point with, with her not having met people before is that she's thrown into the middle of this war between janice and regina without yeah. really any reference of what normal who's a good person in yeah this who's who's actually who's actually good who's bad or whether they're and if it is actually black and white which yeah, it and that's isn't. why she's like so easily molded into a being like a, a yeah. like one plastic. of the plastics. Yeah, and they're they're both so manipulative. Mm. And yeah. Janice's comes from more of a survival instinct. Yeah, Janice is like a, is driven by hatred, really. Yeah, and Regina's driven by power. Yeah, and there is a bit of like I remember there there is a scene as well where they're like being a plastic was like being royalty. Like, people yeah. just knew stuff about you. They'd talk, you know, you know, like, give you stuff. And it, it seems like, you know, she she definitely feels the benefits of being popular. Oh, yeah. I mean, she um, gets sucked into it. Like, she becomes yeah. Regina George, Katie does. Oh, well, um, yeah. And, yeah. Which is why I love that line. Because, so, the, f the yeah, the film essentially... Is is Katie pretending to be plastic to get her own back and gradually just becoming plastic and becoming yeah. the leader of the plastics? Well, and slowly I, kind of breaking down Regina George's yeah, she's break, relationships yeah, with yeah. everyone. Yeah, break, breaks down Regi yeah, psychologically ruins Regina George, hmm. and then takes her takes her place. Even though it, but she goes from being a sort of nice, innocent, naive, girl. innocent girl to. Yeah, very much awful. Awful. awful well, yeah, and, and and obsessed with this popularity, um, and this having the the other two be her minions rather than her her friends. Yeah, and she gets kind of sucked into yeah, and like all of her 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 choices get sucked into it. Like she's she has a crush on that guy. Yeah, what's his name? Um, Aaron. Yeah, Aaron. Aaron. She has a crush on him, and it's like, well, she can't be with him because he used to date Regina at the beginning. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which, by the way, the actor that plays that guy came out as gay in, like, 2020. Okay. Um, which is very funny. Jonathan <laughs> And would Bennett. have been a fucking incredible twist. <laughs> He's very handsome still. He, yeah. Yes, he absolutely is. That would have been an amazing twist in the film. And also, it must have been so weird for him. 
I don't, he's an actor. You're just pretending, aren't you? Yeah, he's just pretending even harder than everyone else was on that day. <laughs> it's yeah, it's so weird. Um, because she, yeah, she fancies him. Uh, she ruins Regina's life, and then he kind of gets sucked into that part of her life. Where yeah, because Regina's from... sort of gone back to him as well, and yeah. so well, he... well no, that's what triggers it. Is that so. Regi- Regina finds out that Katie has a crush on her because Gretchen tells her. Hmm. And yeah. then she says, "I'll get, I'll, I'll put in a good word for you," but instead, takes him back. Yeah, and because he... ultimately Aaron is a seventeen-year-old boy or eighteen-year-old well, boy, work right. his brain he... don't work right. <laughs> a pretty girl kisses him and says, "I'll be your," I like, like, why would I ever break up with you? And he's like, "Oh, okay, this is, yeah, yeah, done. I'm, I'm on board. This is good." Yeah, sure. Um, his brain don't work right, but even like he's a, he's a status symbol in the school. Yes. And there's that sort of I I don't know if I'm thinking more of like it like Glee where it's like the quarterback and the head cheerleader kind of like those two people are supposed to be sort of together. Yeah, but he's not like a particularly important sports person in the school. Like he's not he doesn't no. have high he's not presented and as he's having not, high social. Yeah, and he's not even particularly good at maths. No. He's in a normal class. She's in uh like put up into his class. But he's not yeah. like he's not presented as like a particularly popular guy. But the guys in this are are like as weird as to say, the guys are the lampshade in shirts and jeans. Yes. Yeah. They're because they're, they're how a lot of movies put would portray the female characters. Yeah. You never learn it's about just, any of their lives. No. They're just a reward for the main character. And a status and, and yeah. a, a tool. Because uh, she, she's never, never had a relationship that. ever. Yeah. So it it makes sense. Like Katie's not sure what that would actually entail. Yeah. But he she, he gets sucked. His image gets sucked into. He he goes from being someone he's interested in, she's interested in, to the status symbol of being with him. I like. I really liked the way that was kind of done. And, and but she's... yeah, how disappointed she is when she finally gets him to break up with Regina after yeah. one of my favourite bits, which is where they're trying to get him, trying to get um, Aaron to catch I love that. Regina cheating on him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Including my, my favourite is Damien grabbing her back, wearing a balaclava, and she's like, looks like he's running towards the <laughs> projector room <laughs> <laughs> above I the was... auditorium. <laughs> <laughs> fully expecting him to catch Damien before they got there. Yeah. Because that would have been great. <laughs> also, there's no way Damien could outrun, like, sports boy. <laughs> and um, also, if you were running down the corridor with a balaclava in any other high school, someone would trip you up. A teacher would tackle you. Like, <laughs> Yeah. That's not a normal thing to happen in a school. I think if in, that happened in an American school, they'd go on lockdown. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely, it would be a much mm. bigger deal. Yeah. But yeah, she shouts, she's going to the projector <laughs> room above all me. But instead, uh, he walks in on the the sports coach making out with one of the um, like Asian girls. Yeah. That was a different one, actually. That wasn't no, even that the was... final one they ended on. That was the one before. Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Malvin, doesn't he, he catches his, he catches the guy, but he's, uh, Regina's not there, or she, he shoves her in a cupboard or something? That was oh yeah, yeah. Naked? That's the first one where yeah. he just goes there because he's like, "Oh, the practice for whatever sports is going to be in this room now." <laughs> yeah, yeah the and yeah, team. the one where he's chasing Damien, they find the coach. The I coach thought... who has the great lines of "Do not have sex or you will get pregnant and die." Yeah, I can't <laughs> work out which sport he does because in that scene it's swimming, and then mm. later he says on the baseball team. <laughs> I mean, it might be that they just all. Them. They do it all sports, work. like in England, where you do a sport each term. Yeah. Uh, worst bit of school, PE. Nah, fuck that. <laughs> but yeah, he walked in. Nerd. The f- when he walked in and, and <laughs> she runs away and he stood there in his underwear. Yeah. But I'm telling you, he looks him up and down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and it would have been a fucking incredible <laughs> twist. <laughs> he just launches himself at him. <laughs> if they just like dropped subtle hints throughout the film and then at the end of the film he's like, yeah, guess what? <laughs> <laughs> Guess but, fucking yeah. what? <laughs> yeah, like you said, like in the in the end, um, Katie is like pretending to fail at maths so that he'll tutor her. 
yeah. then just straight up says to him like, "Oh, she's cheating on you." Yeah, they kiss, and, so, and yeah. he's like, "I can't, I can't do this because I mm. like because I'm with Regina," and she's like, "She's cheating on you." As like a last resort. Yeah. yeah, it's really interesting watching her dumb herself down for a boy. That's what she's yeah. doing, and that's not even like yeah. Regina related. Yeah, she that's the thing. To is this, to it's the it's this I can manipulate people rather than being myself Friends that she's learning. Them. Yeah, that learned yeah, behavior he just, is really damaging. Yeah, because he turns around, and he's like, she's like, oh, I just want an excuse to talk to you, and he's like, well, why didn't you just talk to me? Why didn't you just talk? Like, yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> but he's like, she needs an excuse to talk to him, so she's just, oh, I don't know the answer to this question. Mm. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. And it's and then because he finds out that she's still passing, she's like. Well, I have to tank my grade. Just so ruining dumb, her but it... grades just to like. He'll talk to me though. I remember being like that being a thing of like, oh, don't, don't like. I, as a girl, I was always told, like, oh, don't dumb yourself down for for boys. Um, yeah, as you should. But do. I don't. Well, yeah, no, I'm not saying and that was a terrible message. I'm saying like, it, <laughs> um, it just. I don't. I don't know if I knew anyone who was dumbing themselves down. No, just some girls I think that were quite thick. Look, teenage boys are also very dumb. But yeah, yeah. like I said, I guess yeah, it's like you know, at a normal co-ed school, we were all a fairly mixed bag. Like, and most people, it's like they'd be good at one thing, but not necessarily good at another. Like, you know, I was good at English, and then yeah. shit at maths. Yeah. And but there, there is definitely yeah. that. Like, maybe before us, but it's like girls should listen to boys there was that. yeah they don't go they you can't show them up yeah that was always like the thing they don't want you to be cleverer than them i'd be like Wait. psyched if that makes me think like my husband's dumber than me no not at all uh, but i'd like i guess thinking back it'd be like if i had someone who was like better at my a, a boyfriend in class um or a girlfriend that was better at maths than me i'd be like Fuck yeah, I can yeah, help, me, help me with guy, my homework. Yeah. <laughs> guys get their ego hurt. <laughs> guys can get certain guys. Oh, actually, you know what? I think if I'd actually, I would struggle a little bit if they were better at me. It's something that I thought was important. Mm-hmm. Like if I was with someone and they were really good at piano or flute or something that I was like, this is part of my identity. I might have found that a bit sort of hot. And then if it, I, I just, I was so, so competitive. Hot, but like you're not allowed to do it around other people. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I do remember being like jealous if people did better in various tests than me. It's amazing. I think that's, that's so. I uh, yeah. When I say I sort of identified as a nerd, it was like hard identified as a nerd. Hard and also yeah, just sort of ego shattering. If I then wasn't the best. <laughs> that's a lot of stress to put on yourself yeah yeah um i don't think it's a coincidence that i have lifelong mental health issues yeah but um yeah yeah it was it is what it is really isn't it and um still get really scared if i think i'm in trouble (laughs) because what if the teachers don't like me (laughs) (laughs) to be fair you work for the nhs like getting in trouble i imagine for the for that to be a worry has to be pretty bad yeah, no, to be fair, I think if I got if I actually genuinely got in trouble, the ramifications wouldn't be I got told off. Yeah. Um but yeah, he in in Back to Mean Girls, he becomes symbol of hers, but hers in a like he's walking behind her kind of way. Yeah, Not and she's like really a... using him uh, Rachel Rachel Adams McAdams is using her uh, using him to like yeah. piss off and rub it in um, Katie's face, where she's like, yeah. tell him his hair looks sexy, push back, and she's like, yeah, your hair looks sexy, push back. And you fully know he doesn't know what's going on in that scene. Oh, oh no, absolutely. Mm. He's yes. like, oh, this is not... so I think a girl unaware. has paid a compliment to me. Yeah, he's so <laughs> unaware. It is a bit... I can relate. Not to not to that. No one ever was like, your hair is sexy, push back. I don't know. Maybe one day. Um it was i remember that whole being in the plastics or being in the friendship group would be better than being out of it yeah and oh, like yeah, being 100%. in it and hating yourself and hating it is better than being out of it yeah and that well, is the... actually very real i think it's like it's better to have friends that you don't actually like at school than to not have friends at all yeah 
I don't know. She had, like she has Katie has such a horrible experience. Yeah. And what's I think is really good is she because she becomes obsessed with being Regina and being like a plastic and ruining Regina's life and she kind of wants that level of popular and power. I loved when because Katie has kind of convinced herself that she's actually still a good person. Yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. That I loved when Janice was like, "That's the difference between me, uh, like the difference between Janice and and, and Regina and Katie. Janice and Regina understand that they're terrible people. Yeah, they understand what they're doing is awful. Katie still believes she's a good person. Yeah, yeah. I, was like, oh, I like that Regina isn't just a villain. Every decision she makes is very deliberate, and that's just how. To her, that's how the school should function. Hmm. Like it, it needs someone at the top. <laughs> yeah, and like she puts crumbling. she puts the work in. Yeah, yes. Um... That's how she sees herself. She's like it needs to be, which is like, and she proves that point when she she proves her she proves it to herself when she puts out the burn book and the school falls apart. Like she it yeah. needs she needs to be there to stop that from happening. <laughs> hmm. Which can we talk about the burn book and how fucking great and iconic it is? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so how burn... stupid. Don't make actual evidence. Yeah. She says, oh, having had a 100%. Facebook account since fucking <laughs> 2008. <laughs> it's so <laughs> weird for someone, for people to do that. It's so. Yeah, I think the worst we did was like on the, in the, the school year. What would you call it a year? But we called it the school magazine. Yeah. Um. You just get a, you know people just draw dicks on it. Yeah. And like no mustaches. No one had <laughs> no that much organized time into like creating a bound book. It's so, book. and but that whole scene's great when she goes to Regina's house for the first time, yeah, and her mom is book. Amy Polar. Oh, cool Amy, yeah, mom. Amy Polar. I'm I'm a cool mum. That one got quoted yeah. a lot. You <laughs> check out her check out her breast. Implants <laughs> hard as a rock, <laughs> and then the dog's chewing her nipple. <laughs> She's so unaware. And um, to be uh, fair, when Katie like is an alcohol in this, and she's like, "No," but if you want there to be a can be, I'd rather you drink it here. Yeah, sensible. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah. I I had friends with I had lots of friends with parents like that where it was like, yeah. if you're gonna drink, drink here. Like yeah. where we can sort of keep tabs on you. Like, trust me, we don't want to hang out with you while you're drinking. <laughs> sure. Which, Do it in a different room. <laughs> yeah, my parents were like, my were those parents. Yeah, so uh, it made it really hard to rebel. I just had enough people whose parents were like that that it didn't really, not really yeah. wanted to <laughs> hang out at my parents' house. It's very hard to rebel against parents like that. Like, I want to drink. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We'll buy you it, oh, for fuck's sake. What I remember my mum kind of being like, I don't want you to drink spirits. <laughs> She's very picky. I, she was like, you'll, you'll get drunk really quickly. And she was also, I think she was worried. She was like, well, you can't taste it. Like, you can't, <laughs> you like, you know, room. vodka's, you know, it's colourless and tasteless. Like, you won't know how much you're drinking. And I was like, I remember uh, at the time, like, having tried vodka already because, you know, my parents... You're like, it's not tasteless. I was a nerd, but I... You know, you're a cool nerd. I was a, I was a cool. <laughs> no, no, I just a, I hung out with Brit other nerds who also liked drinking. <laughs> you were a British kid. Every <laughs> British kid start drinking. <laughs> if you're at not like getting 40. drunk in a field, what are you doing? If you're drinking cider in a field at nine o'clock at night. Were you really British? Oh God! <laughs> so many beach parties. Yeah. <laughs> I think that that's probably a niche coastal experience. Yeah, but yeah, I didn't different. have that one. Yeah. <laughs> what parties. in Coventry? Yeah, as far away from the beach as you can possibly get in the middle of England. Yeah, no. Uh, canal party. <laughs> I feel like growing up near the beach and doing like the teenage drinking in near the beach and having those kinds of beach parties. It kind of changes your perspective of what a, a going to the beach is. Because I remember at uni we went on like this big beach trip that was like three towns over a big sandy beach it was really nice and everyone else was like we're gonna dig a big hole because like every guy as soon as and a lot of girls as soon as they get to the beach like i need to dig a big hole <laughs> dig a big hole go in the sea the, i had the two important things i had one of those friends that was like as literally as soon as he got there he put everything out and went i'm gonna dig a hole 
<laughs> and he dug a big hole and then he dug a trench yeah. to the sea. That was his whole day. I That's guess... how you can tell someone's secretly a werewolf. <laughs> Fucking incredible. <laughs> um, but like uh, my... Because the beach was so normalised, it's just another space to exist in as a teenager. Yeah. But my, my like, I had just like the weird feeling of this isn't my <laughs> experience be, of being. I should be. Beach. I should be drinking a can and also playing throw a rock at a can, which was our favorite yeah. go-to beach game. <laughs> so <there laughs> See if you be... put the put the can further and further away and you yeah. lob so, rocks at it. Because I found it really weird that we stopped where all the other people were. <laughs> Oh yeah. Like my is. instinct is find a weird quiet corner <laughs> that like isn't good to sit in, but it's away from everyone else. <laughs> we had a couple of nice um beach hut parties yeah. that you, you guys went to. I think yeah. those one or two. Yeah, yeah but that fun. was when we were a bit older. Yeah. Those were fun because uh every now and then your phone just went onto the French network. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. Because every now and then you'd look down and it would be like, oh Yeah, no. it was like, oh you yeah, you're totally cut off from technology because Except for in roaming France. charges. Yeah. yeah, you had to turn off roaming <laughs> as soon as you yeah. went. You had to remember to do that. <laughs> so, are you in Dumpton Gap or Brittany? That, mm. that was great. <laughs> that was really, really fun. Is because every now and then you'd look down and go, oh, "Shit, <laughs> I need to turn my roaming off." Yeah, welcome to France from O2. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and but, it always pissed it down. <laughs> yes, always. Oh, of course. The second you like the barbecue. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's why we have a parasol over the barbecue yeah. and all the photos, <laughs> just to keep I it alive. <laughs> And all of the food was dreadful. <laughs> yeah, well, it would be, you know, a pack of the cheapest possible sausages and the cheapest possible burgers because yeah. poor. Because 19 to 22 <laughs> yeah, 19 year olds <laughs> can't cook fancy dinner. <laughs> can't cook nice can't food. Can't cook fancy on... dinners on a shit barbecue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was always one of them, like, um, throwaway barbecues as well. I think, yeah, we'd have, like, a disposable one. We did have a reusable one, but it was I... really small. I'm pretty sure there was, from memory, there was a reusable one that we put the disposable (laughs) ones on top of. That might have been because we had to put it on the table to stop it blowing away. That's why, we, like, just to like stop it from <laughs> and the table from was made of wood. Anything. Yeah, it was like and belonged the... to my parents. So it's like yeah, we put <laughs> but god damn it, we're gonna have those hot sausages. Yeah, <laughs> this was before Uber Eats. If you wanted to eat somewhere weird, Do you had to miss... make it yourself or bring it with you. I miss like I miss those things. Like they were fun. Oh, well, um, we should have a we should have a beach party sometime. We should. We should. Let's have a beach party. That sounds like anyway, a good plan. Anyway, mean girl. <laughs> <laughs> fucking, the fucking burn book. <laughs> yeah, wouldn't ah? Uh, I can't imagine writing actual mean stuff about I people. Have the energy to their, for it. Well, not to their face, but like next to their face. And it also, yes, like, the, um... the slur is it hits really hard, especially like as someone who was called that. Yeah. It's like when she's hmm. just like they're like um oh Janice Dyke. Yeah. Are we saying it on the podcast? I don't know. It. Mm. Oh, you can. <laughs> <laughs> we can. <laughs> We, like, me, Dan, I mean, you get a word we can say. Each. <laughs> Dan doesn't have any. No, <laughs> and he's not allowed to say ours either. Yeah, he he can just earn thirty percent more. It's fine. Oh no, no, I get one, but only once. <laughs> no, we didn't agree to that. And then everything ends. <laughs> we as a collective didn't agree. To that. Yeah, it's um, that was yeah a su- a surprise. <laughs> It... Yeah, they use the R slur quite a lot in this. That was the other thing I was going to yes. bring up. Yeah, they, mm. they, 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 the R slur, um, which. But I sp- like at the time, it was just a common word though that teenagers used a lot, and it's like it, it wasn't far off. I think it was when we were teenagers that that started mm. being like, no, you can't call people yeah. that. Yeah. Also, um... also, no good people say it. No, it's, it's said by like it's always Regina. like the bitchy characters. Yeah. yeah. So it's never presented as an like it was really commonplace and prevalent. It feels like the people that wrote this knew that it was a shitty thing to say. So yeah, like, we're gonna get the shitty characters to say it. Y- yeah, yeah. It's like it's not an, obviously it's not a nice thing to say. So yeah, it's not it like would've... one of the teachers was saying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, like it was and that's the thing used... with slurs, isn't it? It's like well. It, what are you saying? It's okay to say it, or are you saying this person's bad for saying it? Can I think to... it's like depends. It's used a little too used... casually in this one. Yeah, 
Yeah. Um, and no one calls them out on it, I guess, is the problem. Whereas if they'd said something, if 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 that word was used in a film today, you'd, you'd feel like there'd, there'd have to be some justification for it, where they that character is then cor- corrected or punished or... Yeah. Mm. But it's like only Regina that says it. Is it, only, is it her or like one other person? Yeah, I'm sure it comes up twice because I was like, oh, they said it again. But I'm pretty sure yeah, it's, it's a couple just of times. Yeah, Regina one of them's definitely Regina. Yeah. Or is it like, I think Gretchen might say it? And they can't fucking correct Regina on anything because it's Regina. <laughs> like, it's, it's weird. Yeah. <laughs> and no. Uh, it's not presented as a good thing to say. No. But it's not demonized either. It's weird. Um, but the burn book itself is a stupid idea. It's, it's sort of like an exaggerated diary, I guess. Like, you know, yeah, people it's, it's... might have written stuff like that in a personal diary, but not kind of a, a shared you know, book just anger. to hate people. In. <laughs> yeah. A share anger book. Yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. No, it is. I think it's Regina George. She says it twice. Yeah. Once I... when she's like, no, I'm not. And then the the other time is she's like, I know that she's socially like that and weird, but she's my friend when she's when she's sucking up to... Aaron yeah. to seduce him again. Not seduce, yeah. you know what I mean. Mm. She, yeah. I can't imagine writing in a book like that with my mates. I'd, it would feel weird. Yeah. I just don't think I had that many opinions. Yeah, people. not that specifically about people. No. It'd be like, I mean, oh, when you know we were teenagers, person? you just, you know, do well, it as like, like a status on MSN or something, but be vague about it. <laughs> well, it'd be like, you know that person from school? Oh, they're so terrible. Like, I have no idea who you're talking about. <laughs> Who are you uh, my, about right now? my school wasn't that big that I didn't know everyone in my year by I knew everyone in my year by name. I'm just very bad with people. I'm, I mean, I'm pretty not sure. anymore. <laughs> but... I'm pretty, uh, there were definitely people that I didn't. If someone would be like, "Oh, you know, like Laura," I'd be like, "I fucking know." You can have to be more specific. Yeah, there's a reason like, we introduce ourselves with our names at the beginning of the yes, episodes, and it's, it's only for Michael. It's for me. <laughs> 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 and I thank you for that every time. <laughs> no, there were definitely people where I would have to be reminded of who they were. I I struggled to remember like the context for people. So if there were people with like that were fighting or that you know there was gossip and drama, which obviously yeah. there was because it was a school and you, you know people, people don't like each other and they, uh, they fall out and whatever. <laughs> people or people get with you know someone would get with someone's ex and it would cause all kinds of you know whatever. Yeah, but I was I was <laughs> terrible at keeping track of that. So I'd be like. Why is she upset? And they're like, well, because of this. And I'll be like, uh, yeah. oh, why? And they're like, because they went out with that. And they're like, oh, when? And they're like, last term. And I'm like, okay. Are we still angry about that? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I like. If only we just had some not sort of paying book, attention. If only we had some sort of book to write this all down in. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah. I've, I've got my diary from year nine. I think we have to do a special episode. Nah, yeah, that'd it's... Be, we've got to go through. <laughs> Maybe vet it first. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah, no, we are not doing like a. We're uh, doing a live a reading, a live yeah. reading to <laughs> Helen. Because no, it is bleak. Yeah. I know, yeah. But, but um, you know, <laughs> Christ. <yeah. laughs> so the burn. The burn book, so yeah, the burn book is like the, the thing from this film people remember. Yeah. Hmm. Like one that of the, and on like, Wednesdays we wear pink. On Wednesdays we yeah. wear pink. Um, on October <laughs> 3rd. What day is it? On October, October 3rd. 3rd? Um, yeah. Getting um, loose as we're going shopping. Fetch. <laughs> fetch. Fetch. Um, fetch. I, I, like the, I forgot um, that it's in this where um, Karen is like, I can't go out. <laughs> I'm ill. And she just goes, boo, you whore. <laughs> boo, you whore. Yeah, that's great. We used to I say don't know boo, enough, whore. I don't know enough people that love this film that I can like reference it yeah. to them and it not <laughs> be weird. <laughs> <laughs> I don't one, know. One, um, I don't bit that I like that. noticed, like, I don't know, I might have picked up on it before, but I don't know, but I found it really funny at the end when, like, the school's gone into chaos, yeah. and the principal gets up, and before he leaves, he just picks up a baseball bat. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, well, okay. <laughs> well, Regina gets, like, fully done it. She's done now. She's, um, mm. Katie's she's been fine. giving her, pit, like, uh, functionally Cal- poisoning her. Bar? Yeah, she's giving yeah. her calteen yeah. bars, which were essentially, like, Nutrients, weight bars. gain bars. Yeah, uh, and then she tells her, To be fair, her. I feel like Regina should have accepted a modicum of responsibility because while she's eating all of those calteen bars, she's every other photo it. she is eating so much other crap as well. 
Mm. Which is that's... fine. Girls can eat whatever they want. Like, you I know, be think... try and be healthy. I think that's because Katie tells her, like, oh, you need to just, just eat carbs. Yeah. Because she says she's on a just carbs carb diet. Yeah. But she's like, I'm on an all carbs diet. But I don't think Katie tells her to be on the all carb diet. I think she, she does. just tells her that the, the these bars melt carbs mm. like right. that. But to be fair, I think this was was 2004 when fat was out because it's like fat and carbs take turns for being the evil yeah. reason why people are overweight, even though it's normally yeah. just you know both. This was also like stick thin people. Like this. Yeah, was... and when they're like we've destroyed our hot body, I'm just there with my <laughs> incredibly frumpy body. Like, yeah. No, no, she's she's still got it. She's you know she. She's fine. Yeah. It's like, oh, sweatpants is all that fits me. Bitch, buy more clothes. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess she wouldn't because the, the what she's told is she will quickly lose weight. Mm. Like yeah. she'll suddenly well, yeah, lose no, weight. I, I understand. But, um, yeah. And yeah, Katie is really manipulative about it, obviously. Is that poisoning someone, giving them food and then lying to them what's in it and how I mean, it's ethically, you? it's it's obviously bad. It's a bad, shitty thing to do. Is it? It feels like it should but be a crime. But when she's like, is butter a carb? No, that's stupid. I'm talking about the... The, <laughs> the actual the bars, yeah. Bars. To be like, you should yeah. eat these. They they will help you lose weight and they're designed to... Yeah. Oh, my mum my mom buys them to lose weight. It's it's yeah. because she, she doesn't say... Uh, initially, that... she she doesn't sell it to her as like, oh, you should ta- start eating them to lose weight. It's like, oh, my mum uses them to uses them to lose weight. Like... It's yeah. that kind of insi- insipid, like. Is that you know, a criminal saying. thing to do? Could you? It feels like something you just shouldn't be allowed to do to someone. No, I don't think it is. I, I, that's the thing is, these days we're armed with so much more at, at easy access to information that I feel like if it happened today, it would be way more Regina's fault for not thinking about it. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, back then it's more like well crazy things had happened every every five minutes there was the new like weight loss pill drug like oh, 2004 yeah. when you look at like the magazines that were coming out but like, this was we're still riding on heroin chic at yeah. the time like try zero was the goal yeah and she says like it, when she says oh what does it have in it and it's like, it's like a banned thing that's yeah. not allowed in the u.s and I, I love that rachel mcadams character like regina george just lists a few like legit banned yeah. ingredients <laughs> yeah and like banned for like pretty severe reasons. Yeah, no ephedrine. <laughs> ephedrine, you know the thing that was banned for essentially killing people. Yeah, heart, heart attacks and strokes, wasn't it? Yeah, she's like, oh, she just knows. <laughs> yeah, um, um, but that also shows how hard Regina works to maintain her has 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 had to work and think about maintaining her body. Yeah, because that's like everything to and her trust. Trusting Regina and not trusting, they're trusting Katie as well. Yeah. Is... Well, she thinks she's better than her. Yeah. In like a. Yeah, she just. She thinks she's the is top. A narcissist. Yeah, the top. The, the, well, yeah, she she perceives herself as being the leader. Yeah. Um, of um, everyone. Of it, yeah. Even the head teacher, she's like. And as soon as she fails, because yeah, as soon as she slips, she destroys the school. Yeah. <laughs> she she implodes and writes her own name in her but in the burn book and then shows the head teacher i remember thinking that was such a da, da, da. yeah yeah um, oh, it, it, when it, it she's is. like you see her fury like she's they, the the scene is brilliant because she finds out the last thing she finds out is that the cow teen bars uh, are weight gain. like weight gain bars because the her boyfriend New boyfriend is, is, like, is like why are you eating them i hate them uh we're always made Coach to eat them we need to go us. up a weight level yeah, Coach mm, Mason yeah. sees those when when we need to go up a weight weight class, and she's like, ah, oh, and storms off. Right, and screams. Uh, you hear, see her right thingy is someone is a fugly bitch. I and saw then, well, she's Regina. cutting out a photo with her and uh, her and Katie. Yeah. Um, yeah. But then so she you sticks. think it's going to be? Yeah. Yeah. yeah she's it's actually Reg- laying out her feelings, but no. It's she's... Regina, and then she goes to the head teacher and is like, "Look what they've been writing about me." And then f- spreads photocopies of it all around the entire school, and it just becomes a fucking riot. Well, the, the head teacher brings the other girls in to talk to them. She's mm. like, "Why would, why would Regina write this about herself? How did you think she got hold of the book? Yeah, my guy. That is the <laughs> like, well, why would? How I mean, you... at this point, these kids have demonstrated that they're so stupid. I'd be like, 
she probably put it in the wrong locker or yeah, dropped it or left it out after PE. That's like true. it like it, I, her acquiring it, the book isn't necessarily a, a big deal. Yeah. Um, I'd be like... pissed off that you know she's photocopied it and left it everywhere. That would be like a, there are ramifications oh, I mean, for spreading shit. Missing. That's her, the giveaway that she did it really. Yeah. Like I what I don't I think I forget sometimes, and I think that's the point of the film is like this is a head teacher of a much larger school. Yes. He doesn't so care much about... more to deal with than <laughs> yeah. just Regina yeah. George's <laughs> antic. Yeah. Yeah, um, it's it's when he then makes all the girls go into the gymnasium and he's like, right, we need to talk about this. And then one of them says one thing and he's like, yeah, I no, can't. I can't do this. <laughs> well, they're like killing each other. The girls are yeah. like, yeah. And, and Katie does the I... comparison to the wild, which she doesn't mm. do enough to be like a thing she does. She does it twice. It ha- yeah. It, yeah, twice. It's like, yeah, once in the mall. Yeah, and then, and then there. once in the cafeteria where she like once when it. she wants to like yeah jump on yeah you'd think that would be like a something mm. recurring. I wonder if they did more the scenes and they got cut. Probably, Maybe. Um, uh-huh. but some of the stuff in the burn book ranges from like petty complaints between friends to actual crime. Yes, yeah, and that's, uh, a big, like, that's the big problem, isn't it? Yeah, like there's the teacher sleeping with the students, which is a fucking. Yeah, yeah, both yeah. Like, two. It turns out it's not just one that we know about because yeah. they're just caught in the mm. thing. Revolting. Which also, yeah, Aaron really should have reported. Yeah, a hundred percent. Um, but also didn't. Yeah, for for whatever reason, didn't. And then, yeah. um, sure. They they also accused Tina Fey's teacher of selling drugs as well. Oh, well, that's because yeah. when Kate, yeah, when Katie gets told, uh, basically told off, very yeah. very nicely and gently. Hmm. Um, by by Tina Fey's ma- the character as a math teacher, and is like you know don't don't dumb yourself down for a boy. I'm gonna push you to be better because I know you're better than this. Which is <laughs> yeah, a really she, she nice leads thing through doing. her sad life. <laughs> she thinks the reason I'm divorced and work three jobs because I'm a pusher. <laughs> oh man, I, she's not telling her. She talks to Tina Fey's character. Talks to the students like they are people. Yes. As she explains oh, I love it. She's like, well, this has been sufficiently awkward. I'm going yeah. now. <laughs> they bump it. That is, yeah, seeing a teacher outside of school was weird, though. That was great. Loved it every time. Especially when they were with their kids. That was... Oh, no. They don't, they don't have a life. You can't... Imp- implying a life outside of That's school? That's surreal, <laughs> surreal learning. She just sort of explains to her, because she wants her to do the math a lot. Math yeah. Math yeah. <laughs> Yeah, she <laughs> combining so... two of my least favorite things. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Regina spreads all this stuff around school. The girls fucking hate each other, mm. and then they all get sent to the the fucking the gym. And he's like, "I will keep you here as long as I can, as yeah. all <laughs> long as it keep takes." Four. <laughs> I will yeah. keep you here till four. Yeah, and they make That's them all kind of um... amazing joke. Yeah, and they just make them all kind of um, like confess their anger and apologize to each other in quite a healthy way. Well, yeah, Tina like, Fey ta- does yeah. a fantastic. Like, her character yeah. does a fantastic job being put on the spot. Yeah, like look, he's like it. that. That was another line that was quoted so much as well when I was at school. <laughs> it's not my fault. I have a heavy flow and a wide set <laughs> vagina. <laughs> well, he asked, "Does anyone have any girl problem?" <laughs> Yeah, yeah it's like people say I'm not a virgin because I use super heavy plus flow tampons. <laughs> and he's like, I can't do this. I can't do <laughs> yeah, so Tina Fey takes over, and yeah, they all kind of. She's really yeah. good at it. She, yeah. she talks to them like they're people. Yes. Yeah. And like they're not a group of girls. And she makes a really valid point about how the language that they use is really destructive. Yeah. Whereas, like, you can't go around. Like, the first thing we've got to point out is, like, stop calling each other um, whores and sluts because it just makes well, she... it okay for men to call you whores and sluts. She does that, re- that really cool thing where she says, put your hand up if you ever, if a friend has ever talked about you behind your back. And they'll put their hands up. And then she says, okay, put your hand up if you, you have ever talked about someone, about a friend behind their back. Everyone puts their hand up. Mm. It's like, yeah, that's why it's a fucking problem. And. That is like a concept. It's a problem in fucking everything. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Everyone, like, it's stuff everyone complains about. Like, the amount of 
times I've seen men as like a group, the amount of times I've seen certain men say, oh, no one cares about men's feelings. Like, I can't go to my friends and talk about th- my problems to them. It's like, will you be happy and talk? allow your friend to talk to you about their problems? Yeah. Because yeah. if you don't, you're not part of the solution. <laughs> no, exactly. <laughs> like, these are these are things that we need to fix all at the same time. <laughs> like, you need to be the solution to the problem, not just complaining about the problem. And, yeah, I loved it. Yeah, it uh, it really... It... It, that's why I think it is a it is a really not like sweet film at the end. Yeah, mm. is them all growing up a little bit and they but they they yeah. do get this resolution at the end, yeah. but it's 100%. not perfect because it hasn't actually solved. Whilst it sort of solved a lot of the animosity for everyone else, um, and it seems what? to really help. Like I think Jan is just facing Regina head on. Yeah, and her saying, "Look, I've done all this shitty stuff to you because." You think I'm a lesbian? It's just it's, it's a bit better phrased than that. Um, yeah. She she essentially confesses to the whole thing of setting Katie up to yeah. infiltrate them and ruin them, and then the bit happens that I always forget about where Regina gets hit by a bus. But yeah, yeah, they need to put some we'll fucking say... speed bumps on that road. <laughs> that fucking bus driver needs to f- watch where he's going. Yeah, um, but also like I loved. We forgot about the great bit when they they essentially have to say a truth. And then drop into yeah, like trustful, yeah, trustful. Yeah. And I like that there's one girl just kind of mumbling and crying and being like, "We all need to love each other, and there's so much love to give, and we all just need to hug each other and hold in to be friends." <laughs> and it's like, do you? She and doesn't even go here. <laughs> Damien in like glasses and a hoodie. Yeah, <laughs> it's like she doesn't even go here. <laughs> And then Karen says something and does the trust fall and everyone just moves out of the way. She just falls. Well, it's because she's like, I'm richer. Yeah, I can't help it if I'm like popular. Mm. Uh, I know some people don't like me because I'm rich and popular, but it's not really my fault that I'm so rich and popular. Oh, yeah, because it's Gretchen that says that. And then Karen is the only one that doesn't (laughs) move and just gets landed on. Yeah. And then, yeah, Yeah. Regina, uh, uh, Janice steps up and is like about her Regina's like, oh look, her favourite thing in the world, jumping it's into Also the... the the girl in the wheelchair does that and yeah. he wheels <laughs> back and Yeah. There's just like the teachers doing the traditional like Yep, you're fine, you're okay, they're okay, <laughs> yeah. it's fine. Like <laughs> Yeah. But that um, just as a slight t- aside. Yeah, the... we haven't done them. <laughs> oh yeah, we haven't, we haven't done any of them. Um the I don't want to say use of disabled people in this film is really weird from a rewatch. Yeah. No, it is. It's and kind it's like, because a... there's a, a girl with dwarfism and a girl that uses a wheelchair and they're kind of yeah. constantly paired together like the, it, like it's very tokenistic. Uh-huh, mm. Yeah. You can understand like, oh, it could happen once and that'd be like, okay, well, that may... but the, it keeps on turning up and it's like they've, they're in the same shots, and they're the same. The same joke each time. It's not. It's not good. Yeah. It's like a, it's. It's not. It's a very two thousand and four use of. Uh, it's minority. definitely of its mm. time. There's a lot of this film that is like of its time. Yeah. And the the yeah gay being inherently bad, but also we've got yeah. to have disabled people in this film, but we're not actually gonna really give them put anything. Them in the, yeah, not gonna treat yeah. them like normal people, which they are, or. Yeah. Give them a meaningful part of the plot. Yeah, we just have to have them in there to check a box, which is a uh, yeah. It's just a bit weird. Just a bit weird. Yeah, it's very two mm. thousands though. Yeah. But yeah, Janice explains her entire plan, and everyone's like, "Yeah, fuck Regina George." Yeah, so Regina yeah. storms out. Katie chases Regina her. Also Regina also looks. Hit by us. She looks furious, but she also looks quite hurt. And Katie yeah. obviously looks like feels bad and like chases after her. But it's... I don't. I don't know if it's with Regina that everyone is like, yeah. They're like, oh, well, yeah, they're, well, because she, she, like, Janice is like, I've got a big lesbian crush on you, yeah, 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 and everyone's like, woo, and catches her. So it's more like they're celebrating Janice, but they are celebrating Janice's actions that are inherently against Regina. So they yeah, are that's what cheering I mean. on her demise. Yeah, that's what I mean. They're all cheering on that, like, yeah, fuck Regina, hmm. and not 
which, uh, yeah, I think would hurt anyone. Especially if you're so, like, narcissistic as Regina is. Well, yeah, it's going to knock you down a peg or two, isn't it? Yeah, so she storms off and gets hit by a bus. By yeah. maybe the worst bus driver I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, it's teased yeah. at the start. Um, yeah, he nearly hits, like, a bunch of people <laughs> throughout yeah. the film. But it, it that then the um, the rumour being... Like, well, there's a, a, two rumours. Yeah, the rumour that she pushed her in front of the bus yeah. is so much worse. This I'm just like saying. that that real like I think the the guilt of the burn book is different because she's actually done it. Yeah. But this guilt where people then think that she'd sink so low as to actually push some like essentially try and kill someone. Which like mm. some people are happy that she did that. Yeah. Like half the half the beat half the student body are like, yeah, that's great. <laughs> Yeah, like, fuck Regina George, which makes me think, like, this girl must have really made a few enemies along the way. A hundred percent. We just don't see it because she's at the point where everyone's scared of her. Like, everyone's scared of her yeah. for a fucking reason. She's psychopathic. Like, she possibly ruined a girl's life just because he dated some. She was dating someone that one of her friends dated at some point. Yeah. We should also talk about that, like, one of the girls is trying to date the cousin. <laughs> Oh, that being oh, yeah, the Halloween Karen, party, yeah. yeah. <laughs> She's like, no, no, it's fine. He's my first cousin. Yeah, <laughs> you, like, you have cousins. Like, no, you have cousins, first... and then your first cousin. She's like, oh, that's no. not right, is it? And then Gretchen's like, that's so not right. But then at the end, she's like, hey, Seth. And yeah. Like, <laughs> it's like, no. Oh, it's fucking <laughs> great. Uh, forgot about that. But yeah, she's, I don't know. Karen's character is problematic, great. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> the boob, like, the the... She's like being dumb is fine, like that, you know, as a characteristic. Yeah, being dumb and pretty isn't gonna go away anytime soon as like a plot device. Um, yeah, to be fair, there was a girl in my school that was like that. People convinced really her that it was called ditzy. a. Mm, someone convinced her that it was called a Mars bar because you can only get nougat from Mars, and she fully believed it. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> but the the weird way I'd like it. Most of it's fine. But mm. the, I especially like the way when she's like, oh, I have got a, a one skill. Um, I've got a fifth sense. Yeah. Um, yeah. I can the, tell when it's going to rain. Uh, <laughs> no, I can tell when it's raining. But it's like my breasts can tell when it's raining. And then <laughs> yeah. at the end, she's doing the school. Weather report. Where, and she's groping mm. herself on the school camera. And I was like, yep. that's a bit icky. Not going to lie. That one weird. I'm not keen on that, that scene. That scene mm. has not aged comfortably. No, no. Well, the, I do like when she does the um, the K in jewellery on her chest yeah. for the spring <laughs> thing, and it's just backwards because she did it in the mirror. She's like, yes. <laughs> Fucking incredible. Yeah. Um, yeah, so Regina gets hit by a car and it kind of, everything falls apart and yeah. the hierarchy of, of first yeah. year girls at this high school has normalised. Yeah. <laughs> like, and then, it's um... so weird to be like, this isn't, the, <laughs> even, even the entire school this is like mm. one year of just the girls, and because you know none of the guys care about this shit. Yeah, <laughs> they're all absolutely baffled. But they all have like other drama going. They have American yeah. Pie oh. happening. Yeah, <laughs> American Pie happening. This is what the girls are doing, and yeah, it's so weird to be like, oh yeah, this isn't even like important mm. <laughs> to the school. Yeah. But then the sort of repercussions of it are happening, and um, Tina Fey's character is sort of being investigated. Yeah. Um, and Aaron, um, they're like, oh, someone just needs to confess and say that it was all made up. And Aaron's like, yeah, it was just written by some bored girls who hate their own lives. And that's when Katie's like, oh, shit, yeah, I should probably own up to this. And Yeah, this know. one's a real repercussion. It isn't yeah, because the, yeah, the, the repercussion, mm. yeah, that, it, it affecting her, like her actual ver- words she wrote. Yeah, having the repercussion of like, I mean, I feel sorry for Tina Fey's character she was, when she's like, yeah, the uh, the cop watching the cops raid my house was the real highlight of a fantastic yeah. year. Yeah, yeah. It's like I these like goddamn she... kids. <laughs> yeah, I do like that she's never angry at the kids though. No, no, she's such it... a good teacher. Mm. E- even when she's like, you can make it up to me by joining the mathletes. Like, yeah, do the um, do the actual like math quiz thing. And I like that she does that because she knows that that's what Katie actually kind of wants to do. Yeah. Like, she frames it as a punishment, but it's like, no, Katie wants to, she just won't let herself. No, exactly. She's smart enough to be doing this in the first place. So. And she enjoys it. 
Yeah. Like she enjoys math throughout the the film. Yeah. Because she says at the beginning, like, math is easy reason. because it's the same in every language. It never changes. Which mm. is such a hard line. <laughs> yeah. It's such a good line for, like... It's very pro-math, but it didn't convince mm. me at the time when well, I watched this like, yeah. <laughs> introduction. <laughs> it's a good, like, introduction math. to a character. Yeah. yeah. Um, and then they win the mathletes because she ends up going against the other girl mathlete and is like, I could take which, the piss out of this girl, but I'm not going to because it's not going to change anything. It's not going to make me win this contest. Like, yeah. Yeah. There's there's a really cool, really interesting bit that happens in that. And I don't know if it's that deliberate or not. But when they, so there's the two, there's a girl on each team. Mm. And she's like, when she when they both get picked, they walk towards each other. And KD has the realization of, yeah, she doesn't pick pluck her eyebrows and she's wearing shitty clothes. But me staying all of that won't make me better at maths. Yeah. yeah. I, I like, me say, saying that she's ugly won't make me pretty. Yeah. Um, saying I, that what, she's, you know. What I yeah. think is brilliant about that scene, and it isn't like a major part of it, but I think is it has to have been really deliberate. Neither girl, neither team knows the name of the girl. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like they both go, we want the girl. No, the mm. first the first guys go the 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 Katie school, the boy because yeah. uh, it's Kevin, um, yeah. who is like we want dot 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 dot, and it's it's the girl, but they they do say her surname, yeah. just a surname, not a first name. Um, but it is, no. and, then, and then the other team are like, we want the girl, we pick the girl too. Yeah, and I'm like, it's shitty that the teacher doesn't make them say say her name. I hmm. I like I could have like I kind of wanted Katie to go. When she says the right answer to be like, actually, fucking say my name. Mm. Yeah, like maybe you should say, say my, my like. Name. <laughs> Sorry, it felt like a bit that should have been there, and I think if this was made now, it would be. Yeah, but like it, it wasn't the point of the film to for Katie to go. No, I have a name. Yeah, it just felt they... like such a good moment of like, yeah, even in this environment yeah. where their gender has. Absolutely, because the rest of the film, their genders is actually really important to the story. In this situation, where gender is completely pointless, that it's still yeah, like it's impacting still them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it just shows that like all of their drama, all of like the girl stuff, doesn't fucking matter when it comes to boys. They will not remember your name. <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah, it does show that, but it also shows that like it, 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 it hints at the women in STEM problem. Yeah. Oh yeah, hundred percent. And that feeds back to like the girls dumbing them, g- dumbing themselves down for boys because boys don't want girls that are smarter than them. Yeah. Thing. I just filmed a lot smarter than I yeah. thought it was first time I watched it. Yeah. yeah. And, and then and then we get to the sort of nice ending. Oh of, yeah, um, she's like everyone's a they, winner. <laughs> yeah, they it's win from... the mathletes. Go to the spring fling. Um, yeah. And there's the whole king and queen thing, which we don't get that in England either. Like, be fucking weird. There's no prom king or anything like that. But weird. yeah, KD ends up winning. And it's like, she just kind of has a speed. <laughs> I like how the principal keeps like being like, yeah, no, you don't have to you can stop talking. There's no speech. But she's just like trying to empower everyone. And she's like, yeah, we've all just been fighting out over this bit of plastic and just, like, snaps the tiara and hands it around to everyone. Like, I love the yeah. way, is it Damien gasps when she yeah. snaps yeah. it as well? <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. I love Damien. <laughs> it's also, by the way, it's also fucking insane. And it shows that, like, the problem hasn't been fixed. Hmm. All of her, the good things she mentions about people is the way they look. Yeah. yeah. But, it's, yeah. but it's everyone. It's, like... Everyone oh, looks no. different, an individual, but... Everyone's put in effort, to... everyone deserves to feel pretty, I think. Yeah, yeah. She, yeah she's yeah, like, yeah. everyone looks like royalty here tonight. Yeah. She's not but saying is... your whole value is your looks. She's saying yeah. to, this prize of, for the prettiest goes to everyone yeah. because everyone is the prettiest they can be tonight and they all deserve to celebrate. It. Yeah. It's just like, it's the problem still tinge it's like this is a great thing still tinged in that like teenage hmm. it is length. really important for teenage girls to feel pretty though no a hundred percent i'm not saying that's the what well, i'm i'm not that's not what i'm complaining about i'm like i think it's quite clever and quite good that the film has done it that way yeah where it's like 
it's still like the problem is still there because the problem is societal not these this is the problem isn't for these girls to deal with <laughs> yeah katie, yeah. Ha- katie harron is not fi- fixing the world she is yeah. fixing a year at school oh 50 yeah. percent of a year at school yeah <laughs> like what you expected what you expected girls to take away from the whole have you ever said something bad behind someone's back has anyone said anything bad about you behind your back isn't maybe we should stop tearing each other down for no reason and you need to be part of that solution to be maybe you should just like tell people they're pretty yeah <laughs> and, like that's such a teenage wavelength to that situation <laughs> i mean there is the bit when the, uh, tina fey like talks to her and is like you didn't write that book you didn't write that whole book yourself yeah and she's like yeah i'm doing this thing where i'm not speaking to people behind their backs anymore yeah, like that that shows impact, that's like the Oh yeah, the good bit there's of like growth. bits of growth, but I, I, I think it's really good that it's like, I think it's great that it's still with that lens of teenage girl. Oh yeah. yeah. At the end, I think it's really good. I do like, the way he gasps. <laughs> <laughs> the way he gasps. <laughs> like it's um, an important thing he could ever have. It's a, it's a really sweet speech. Yeah. And mm. she's even, you know, nice. when she's, she's like, like to point out like Regina... Looks like a, Even you know, she, a... she's got a broken, broken spine. She still looks like a rock star. Yeah. And like Jan, I like that Janice gets a bit of the crown. Yeah. And so does I love that Damien, Damien ele- like, puts her in the running for Spring Queen as well. As a joke. As, as a, a joke. joke. <laughs> it, I just think it, yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. she's so furious with him. But yeah, no, I, I really liked um I, I really like the ending, and it is sweet. Yeah, and like her parents lovely. are watching as well because they're furious because she's grounded, but she went to the yeah. athletes' competition. She's, she's <laughs> yeah. grounded, and the dad doesn't know the word grounded. Yeah, yeah like, she's she, like, she, she, where she go? She, she went out. She's grounded. It's like, oh, they're not allowed to go out when they're grounded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. She gives a speech, and her parents are like, oh, she's a good person because mm. every adult treats uh, Katie like an actual person. Yes, yeah. she's probably why she's so like adjusted enough to come out of this relatively unhurt yeah kind of be able to fix all the mistakes that she made and then i like how it kind of shows the next year where everyone in that school year just gets on fine but then there's the new (laughs) younger years plastics yeah and she's like yeah we've got that problem (laughs) it just shows them get hit by the bus this is gonna be a really (laughs) weird thing to be like a weird thing to point out about the film the ending song not the credit song the song behind where she's like everything when everything's fine now everything's good it has that like vaguely house song in the back like almost mm. ravey kind of song in the background such a good choice of song it makes the scene feel right yeah yeah <laughs> and that doesn't happen that often no <laughs> but you just like oh that actually fits really well as i'm putting that out hmm. well I mean, oh, fucking hell, we've been recording for longer than the movie goes. Um, and we didn't even <laughs> fucking talk first. about the important stuff. We didn't no. talk about the good scene. Didn't talk about the fucking Christmas scene, the dancing scene. Oh, yeah. didn't, oh, there's shit, so much in rock. this film. Yeah. I think uh, there's just so much in this that is iconic that anyone listening to this podcast episode <laughs> would have seen it. And we've all watched it enough. I wanted to like actually fucking talk about the movie. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, if you, if you were going to rate it out of ten, then... <laughs> Fucking oh. ten. I think it's ten fetches out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> Stop trying to make ten. fetch happen. <laughs> yeah, fetch isn't going to happen. <laughs> it's ten, been twenty years. Ten, <laughs> ten jingle bell rocks out of ten. Yeah, I was gonna say yes, ten jingle bell rock um sexy dances. Kicks out of ten. Uh, yeah. I remember everyone thinking that scene was so funny, and I was like, yeah, funny. That's what I thought it was, too. Funny. <laughs> Not hot. <laughs> Not hot. <laughs> so yeah. hot. Well, um, I had to pretend I was... <laughs> you were the opposite. Really They're like, yeah, so sexy. This. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh, this is uh, great. You can see scene. their that boobs seems... and... <laughs> great. It's not disappointing there's no scene where Jay- uh, Aaron isn't fucking shirtless. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'd have to give this a 10 as well. I'm going to give it um, 10 janitors from Scrubs who are your dad out of 10. Yes. yes. Oh, He's also 11. in uh, the middle 
uh, they have yeah, that he plays dads <laughs> yeah. he plays dads really well <laughs> dads and janitors that's dads his energy he yeah, yeah. this he... film holds up really well yeah i'd say yeah. It's, a, it's a nine for me um what it loses it, it i think it's it just loses the one the one mark for the the bits that just have aged genuinely quite terribly like it doesn't ruin the movie by any stretch of the imagination but yeah. if you were watching this fresh as a teenager now there'd be some moments that i think would be a bit like what mm. why is yeah. that a thing yeah some some bits have definitely yeah i think realistically a nine is reasonable like still great still great I, movie I, yeah, but yeah there's I, a couple I know of bits I'll, that are just like eh. i'll watch it again i'll definitely yeah. i'll be watching the jingle bell box thing again anyway <laughs> Because um, I love the song. Um, yeah, yeah, it's great. Everyone knows it. It's really funny. <laughs> Literally, everyone knows. Really, it. yeah. Apparently, everyone at the school knows it. Everyone <laughs> knows that can song. Sing it. Well, yeah. they don't. Yeah, but they know the actual words. <laughs> yeah, that's true. To, you don't need everyone to know the actual words. You need mo- some people to know, it and everyone else to mumble a- just appropriately. And Tina Fey can play the piano, I guess. Yeah, I think she can in real life. <laughs> Probably. He's a Probably. music, uh, you know, talented actor mm. and everything else. It's not a stretch. Uh, this film's good. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. How was, was, I need to know, was Mean Girls 2 about the new group of plastics? Oh, it wanted to be. Oh, it desperately wanted to be, but no, I don't think it's the same. It's not the same cast. It's, it's not like a complete... Uh, the <sighs> plot, from what I remember, and I could be wrong, but I'm not going to look it up, um, this girl... A uh, new girl moves to town and someone pays... She gets paid to be friends with someone. Oh, okay. And it's that it kind been, of plot. It could have been Ooh. so good if it was like a direct continuation dealing with the new plastics. I've just had a look at the uh, ratings on Letterboxd. Real bad. Um, Real the bad majority of them are half a star. Yeah. It's... Know, yeah, it is, a, it is a slope. <laughs> it would have been hard um, to make a sequel to this film because yeah. of how good it is it was yeah. also straight to dvd yeah sorry straight to tv and then they made a musical and then they made a musical film of it well the difference is the i know it's a the good film musical. has uh the sequel the, fi- the film sequel has a it's none of the original cast apart from the it came out in 2011 as well yeah that's way too late for a sequel to mean girls yeah that doesn't have the original cast in anyway. You, like you're making a musical first, and mm. then you make, and then you make the movie, and then you uh, have another musical, and then you make the musical movie. Yeah, which maybe we'll watch one day. I know the musicals really. I've seen the musical through legal means. Th- through I I really want I I, I want to yeah. watch Mean Girls twenty twenty four. Yeah, mm. I mean, we should watch me it. Space. I trust it. <laughs> I trust it, and I don't know why. But yeah, it just makes when I, when I call it Mean Girls 20, 2024, it makes me think of Blade Runner twenty forty nine. Same vibe. It's, it's, it's set in a sci fi city. Yeah, Ryan Gosling plays Katie. The, the, the plastics <laughs> in this one very literal. Oh, actual plastic. <laughs> no, that's the Barbie movie. <laughs> Good film. We've we've talked. This is maybe our longest episode. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it is. Apart girls. from maybe the hundredth episode special, which but that who, wasn't about a movie. So who would have fucking guessed that our yeah. longest normal episode would have been about Mean Girl. Uh, yeah. Do we have such a thing as a normal episode? Yeah, well, we talk about films. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we... <laughs> sometimes we even talk about films. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we did a, We did great because we got distracted for an hour and spoke about the film for almost an hour as well. So, yeah, we, you know, yeah. it's win-win. <laughs> but we spoke be... about the film. We love this film. <laughs> yeah, Everyone exactly. Does. Great movie. It is a great film. And if you've not seen it in a while, you should go, go and watch it. Watch it. Yeah. Always a good time to watch Mean Girls. Yes. So and it's not that long. You could have no, you could have watched long. it instead of listening to this podcast. <laughs> you could yeah. have listened a Probably long. would have been a better choice. <laughs> and we'd still be here in the credits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess with that, I've been Dan. I've been Michael. <laughs> and I've been Helena. Um, you can find this podcast on social media at Hilton Pod. That's at H-I-L-T-M Pod. Uh, we're on Discord as well. Come and tell us tell us your favourite quote from Mean Girls, I guess. Or like, you know, what you like about it. If, have you no seen it? Have you seen girl, the new Caddy, one? You're if, a bitch. If you think <laughs> Mean Girls is fetch. 
Yeah, <laughs> let's know how fetch is Mean Girls. Because as we know, it is British slang, so... Yeah. yeah. What clique were you in? If you're on Discord, <laughs> yeah. I think I already know. We know. <laughs> yeah. If you listen to this, we know. Yeah, we, <laughs> that we know. <laughs> We're aware. Yes. Uh, are we going to use the Patreon money to make fetch happen? <laughs> I, yes, I just I also want to point out that like if you are watching this along, if you have been watching this along, the film's long over. If you have been yeah. watching this along, by the time the credits roll was probably when we mentioned the burn book destroying the school. <laughs> it's probably when that happened. Just want to point that out. But yeah, no, we're gonna use the money to yeah a PR campaign to make fetch happen. Yeah, it's not gonna happen. Um, part of that is making me because <laughs> just releasing, re-releasing Mean Girls. Uh, what about a Brit British Mean Girls? Well, uh, yes, I think we're going to rebrand the whole cool. podcast. <laughs> hey, that uh, movie was fetch. <laughs> Br- British Mean Girls <laughs> is um. World what's Child? that? No, what was that one we watched? We watched the Centrinians. Oh, Centrinians. That's pretty. Oh mean girls. yeah. <laughs> or Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging. Angus Thongs and Perfect Snogging is more of British Mean Girls, which yeah. says a lot, I think. <laughs> yeah. No, that is British Mean Girls. Yeah. Mm, yeah. And then Easy A is the American Angus Nongs and Perfect. Oh, I've not seen that in ages. Should uh, yeah, yeah, I like yeah. that movie. Yeah. Oh. I think I did anyway. I'm stopping recording. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I'm going to stop. Uh, maybe I've. My, so my recording has crashed. Maybe. It might not have saved. Oh, shit. <laughs> Oh no, not this one. I'm gonna let it do its thing. I mean, not recording is gonna make this very difficult to record. Uh, fine, fine, I've started recording. You, right, you have to... two jobs. One of them is to record, <laughs> the other one is to talk about the film. <laughs> and I have a secret third job at the NHS. <laughs> we all have secret third jobs, Helena. <laughs> <laughs>